Ready? Yeah. <laughs> that really looks. Is it? Good job. Oh. Okay. There we go. Good job. Daddy, have a go? Yeah, you'll have them. Yeah. Now. Now, this one. Push. Look at that. <laughs> you drink it all the milkies? No! You be drink all the milkies? No! It's getting very hot. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Oh, Daddy! Daddy died! Whoa! Sorry, Daddy. That's alright! Don't you worry about that! Look at this! What can you see? A birdie! You see a birdie? It does look like chocolate. That uh, is power. It no. is. Did you hear her? No. She went, that's I No, she didn't. She did. No, she didn't. I feel like she said it. I. It'll be on the camera. I need knife. Okay, let me go and get you a knife then. There's your special little knife. <laughs> this is a little pure acai berry. I'm going to do some watermelon. Do you want to put two dates in? I'll get them out. Can you chop them up into pieces for me? Oh, <laughs> you just eating them. Raspberries? I know you do. Are they from Nanny's Garden? I'm are not they? sure they are those ones. I don't think these ones are. Come on, should we try and pop some in there without eating them? It's quite hard, but let's see if we can do it. Oh, your knife's upside down. There we go. There we go. That's a good chop. And oh, and you've already chopped the other ones. Nice. Nice. Now, normally we would add ice. That my mouth. This. Dad and Tim. Yeah. This is your milk from the garden centre. We're just borrowing some. Back the dog and bop 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 It's moving. All done. There we go. Is it good? Well, I think you got the most. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers mate. Cheers. Oh that's delicious. Should we go get dressed? I get that cowpaw and a drink. Are you giving me cowpaw and a drink? Yeah. That's lovely. Alright, I'll wait here. Otty's currently insisting that she takes everything that could possibly make Zoe feel better to her, up to her in bed. Daddy. Mummy coffin. Is mummy coffin? Yeah, she's poorly, isn't she? Yeah. But we're looking after her, aren't we? Yeah. Come on then. Right, where are we going today? Oh. That is so scary. Good morning, good morning. How are we? Hope you're doing good. Feels like a while since I last filmed. I think it's been a week. I didn't upload last week. And therefore it just feels like a lot longer than usual. Zoe and I have just been away for a couple of days. A little staycation in Bath. And Zoe's mum had Otty. So I'm feeling very refreshed. I did get ill last week. And like I got taken down good. Like I was... Yeah, yeah, we are going. We are going. It hit me hard. And I was in bed for like half of a day. You don't really get a chance when you're a parent to like 
proper spend time in bed when you're ill. You just kind of have to crack on, but I felt really bad. Unfortunately, Zoe started feeling the exact same yesterday. So she was meant to be coming with me, with me this morning where I'm going now, but I said, look, just stay at home, just chill. I'll take Otty. We'll carry on as planned. I'll get everything done that we need to do, but you just stay in bed and just like, and just try your best to feel as good as possible. Where are we going? At Daddy's office. Daddy's office, that's where we're going. So we're off to the office, oh, which I have actually, yeah, they're closing, aren't they? I have actually got an update to tell you. I'll explain when I get there. Otherwise, Ottie in the back is not going to be happy if we don't get driving soon. In fact, actually, whilst I'm driving now, I'm going to cut to a very small little edit. Like I shot a couple of bits of my iPhone um, of whilst we're, that was the car of whilst we were in Bath. It's literally like a minute or so. But yeah, whilst I'm driving now, let's cut to a couple of little clips. Of Zoe and I's little staycation in Bath. going this one I can't even explain how hot I am so we got here a couple of hours ago and it has been non-stop since so if you've been watching the vlogs for a couple of years you'll know that Zoe and I over the years we've rented different offices separately and then ended up renting an office together and then the dream which we achieved like three years ago was to purchase an office together and we bought this space. It was nothing like it looks like now. I documented all the renovations over the years. Spent so long designing it, renovating it. What is this? I don't know. And we've had so much use out of the space from originally fulfilling all of the future self orders, like picking and packing here, starting many different businesses and ventures and projects and deals and pop-up shops. It's been the dream space. However, as you know, this year for us has been about simplifying everything and really stripping things back. And we've stopped multiple projects that we've been working on. Like Zoe stopped the Zoella business. I stopped the Secrets Out podcast. There's different things behind the scenes as well that we've stopped and tweaked and amended. To put a long story short, obviously with us taking a chunk of time and hopefully far bigger than last time off with the second baby, one of our team is also Hello. just... Oh. oh, you're on the phone? Oh dear, it's not working. It's not working because I don't think it's a phone. I think that's the aircon. That's the aircon remote. One of our team is also going off on maternity leave in two, no, tomorrow. Tomorrow is her last day. So we're basically, candle. that is my candle, thank you. So the plan is to basically, <laughs> that is coffee. Yeah, to rent out this office space, only short term for like a year, possibly two years. Whilst we take a chunk of time off of work and strip things right back, it just doesn't make sense to keep such a big space running when there will only be two members of the team still working full time here and it's such a big space if you've seen it from my videos. So we're basically downsizing the office to a new space that is beautiful. We're currently renovating it at the moment but it's far smaller than all of this here. Where have I gone? You're the one that's gone. Yeah, rent this one out for like a year or so. So then when we're in a new flow of work in with Two kids, what we want to do with this space. So, yeah, let's not go down the stairs yet. Look, come this way, let me show you. So right now, we are reorganizing everything to be put into either the new office space, which as I said, is far smaller, 
And then also we're changing one of the rooms in our house to like an office that Zoe and I can use for the next like year or so. So bringing a bunch of the stuff from here back to the house. Hello. Hello. So that we can have an office space at the house. Are you ready to go home now? <laughs> Come on then, let's go home. As you can probably see behind me, a big old chunk of the office is now at the house. Now downstairs at the house and I've somehow got to get it up two flights of stairs by myself to start renovating and building out the new work from home kind of office -y room for Zoe and I to use. Other than the fact I don't know how I'm going to get it up the stairs, I'm pumped. I'm excited. At the beginning of this video, you would have seen on the screen that said this vlog is sponsored by Shopify who are one of my absolute favorite brands, not only to work with on videos like this, which I have done over the years, but also just to use in life. I've used Shopify every single day for over 10 years now, I reckon, with the Creator Store, PB Merch, Future Self, Future Self Coffee, all of the pop-up shops I've done. So I'm incredibly pumped that this video is sponsored by Shopify today. Also, because right now, as you are watching this, if you've seen the hoodie that I've been wearing throughout not only this vlog here, but also just recently on my socials and out and about and everything, this is part of a new Future Self collection that literally has gone on the website. Like I'm gonna tick the website live at the exact same time that I tick this vlog live. So if you're watching this, the new Future Self collection has just gone live on the website. I'll put some pictures up on the screen now of what's available. There's an evergreen hoodie, evergreen joggers. I'm absolutely obsessed with those colorways. Then there's also the buttercream hoodie here with the evergreen logo on it as well as a buttercream t-shirt with the evergreen logo on it. So there couldn't be a better time to work with Shopify than today. If you don't know much about it and you don't know what it is, it is an easy to use all-in-one commerce platform for literally anybody, regardless of whether you've got a ton of experience or loads of technical ability or little technical ability, Shopify is there for you to help grow your business from maybe it's your first company you've ever launched. They are there to support you with resources for that very first sale or Equally, and this is what I love about Shopify, if you are at full scale and you're already a big company, Shopify also have the resources for you at the stage that you're currently at, at your business. Shopify literally powers more entrepreneurs than anyone else in the world. There is millions of businesses that are built on the back end of Shopify. We've all got that thing chipping away at us that one day we want to do, one day we want to start, one day we want to launch. Whether that's selling clothing like Future Self Clothing or coffee or little picture frames or garden accessories like i feel like deep down we've all got that thing that we'd love to do one day and as i said it literally couldn't be a better time today to be talking about shopify and telling you guys to click the link down below go check it out go and explore what they're up to go see if there's something that resonates with you that you can start and there is no better time than right now literally no better time right now for me because the new future self clothing collection has just launched this collection is all about encouraging you to take those steps to becoming the future self, and I don't mean to sound cringe, that you wanna be. Like, now's the time. Have a little think about what you can do today that will help you right now today, even if it's small, become one step closer to being that person that you wanna be. That is what this collection is all about. I want you to wear it, to know that that's why you're wearing it. I've also set up a code on Shopify, which I'm gonna put on the screen here, which is Shopify evergreen evergreen is obviously the name of the green of the collection shopify evergreen i'm only going to share this code in this vlog nobody else is going to know that code and if you use it you're going to get free uk shipping so be sure to use the code if you're going to shop the collection i can't encourage you enough to go down below click the link go check out shopify see what they're about now i've got to try and unpack all of this and carry up two flights of stairs going to be totally honest with you now i'm looking at everything I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this upstairs by myself. <laughs> Some of these sofas, like look at the size of this part of the sofa. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. But I guess the only way I'm going to know is just by giving it a go. If I get stuck, I'm just going to message my mate Morgan to shoot up on his motorbike and give me a hand. And what makes it even worse is that I also want to vlog doing it. So therefore I'm going to have to rearrange the camera around. Uh, 
and again. There is something deep inside me that does enjoy stuff like this, that does enjoy the like, I should probably have somebody else helping me out, this would be a lot easier, and then just still doing it solo. But it does feel good getting a bit out of breath and just getting it done by yourself. Now I don't know if this is a stupid one to go for next. I should probably just do the solo chair and the little footstool bit here. But I kind of want to do this mirror. The superstition in me at the thought of dropping this and also just damaging everything. If I drop this, you're, that would not be the one to have to clear up. I feel like I can do it. So if you haven't already gathered, this room up here is going to be mine and Zoe's new little joint work from home office for the next year or so. So I kind of need to decide the layout for how it's going to go. Because the desk is going to stay here with the monitors. And then over here we're going to have the corner sofa. I don't know where that mirror is going to go because it is so tall. It doesn't really fit with these like curved ceilings that we've got in this room here. I might bring everything up now and then rejig and move it all around later this evening once Otty's in bed asleep. Whoa. Oh my God. Obviously, as I said at the beginning of the vlog, Zoe's not, not too well at the no. moment. So probably isn't going to be on camera too much because she's currently just wearing pyjamas still. But we're just going to start putting the, the room together. I thought I was going to do it when Otty was down this evening, sleeping. But my parents have got Otty currently for the next like, hour or so. This is going to be cool. I'm very excited. Yeah, me too. It's I also feel like we both, should, we both got the same vision for it. Yeah. The only thing that I think is going to be tricky, I'll say into the vlog, is the mirror is so tall that both walls it's too tall for. Could it go there? It might fit there. Yeah, I was, as I walked in, I thought that's the only place it can really go. But I don't think it can go there. Why? And I'll tell you why in a second. Well, I'll tell you what I nap you on. <laughs> I, I, I can, can wait one second if you'd like me to. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I'll show you why in a second. This is basically going to go here, isn't it? In the corner. Yes. So if you want to take like a nice little outfit picture or a little picture in the mirror, mm -hmm. you're just going to have the ugly desk behind the mirror. Surely you would want the mirror facing the nice bit of the room rather than our desks. So I think the mirror needs to go. It kind of needs to go here. It can't get there because the desks are there. I think we just need to do everything other than the mirror. Okay. And then kind of see where it goes. Yeah, it's a but big old think, mirror. I, I think it has to go opposite the nicest looking bit of the room. But you also want good light. Yeah, which is the opposite of there. Well, I know. That's actually quite good there if there's a mirror there because of the window. By the way, there's still other stuff in this room currently. As you know, we're like... Yeah, like, like, like that. Like this over here. <laughs> we're rejigging... Otty's room, our guest room, and the new baby's nursery. So there is stuff all over the place. Like this stuff over here is obviously like Otty's clothes that we boxed up that we'll be using for baby number two. This is like an old table that is not gonna stay in here. It needs to go in that room, but that room's currently, we need to go through. That room's like beyond. I'm room. halfway through it. I think we do everything other than the mirror and then we just have a look at where the mirror goes. Yeah, and what are you saying about the rug? I think we switch it to this one. Okay, cause that one is probably a lot smaller. I don't think so. I, think I definitely think so. Well, we'll see. Oh yeah, because I think this goes much more with like the table colour, the wall colour, whereas nothing else is black now. Once like this is gone. Yeah, true. I think much. Let's just have a little see. We yes, have a look. You'll just have it's to like shove the rug, this rug to the side, I guess. Let's go. I'm assuming you're going to have the shorter bit of the sofa that side and the longer bit along here because of the door. I was thinking the other way. It won't fit the other way. I can tell you that I, for free. Uh, I'm thinking it will. I can tell you it won't. I'm thinking it will. <laughs> there. 
this is the good thing with these sofas, because they're so modular, you can just like stand them up and move them around so easily. Mm. Oh Whoa. yeah, the rug. Oh yeah, we, we taped it down. Gosh, I haven't seen this floor in a while. <laughs> That's a lovely rug though. I like that black and this white. One. Yeah. Do you possibly want to keep it? Is that no, no, let's look at the other one. You sure? Yeah. I think the other one. Okay. Because I think the other one came from your office room in town, but they really like suited the sofa. So I think it's going to go really nicely. Oh, it's so much nicer. It is nicer, but it is smaller. <laughs> Isn't it? No, it's quite big. It's massive. It's smaller. Um, I think it's going to have to go this way. I don't yeah. Think it can go the other way. No. But what it might be is obviously this sofa. It doesn't matter if it doesn't go under the sofa as much. No. It might be fine that it's smaller. Yeah. Because obviously it'll be poking. Out but also, you don't want this too much. No, that's just not. Wheelie O'Hulahan in the way. Um, you want big dog here. I think Big Dog will only fit there. Alfie seems to think it will fit there, but I don't think it will. Well, it might be nice to like fit here. I think it looks better there, the bigger In one. In front of the... Yeah. Obviously, I have not straightened out the carpet yet, but everybody watching this like, oh my god, the carpet's so wonky. Is it bad that I'm just going to want to like spend loads of time up here now? I feel like this is going to be our little chill-out area. The only thing is, Otty's room is moving to below it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we have to be mindful of that at night. Like, you can't be playing your music up here. Well, hopefully we're not up here working much. That's the whole point is like... No, chilling out. Chilling. I'm saying, if you want to like come I'm up and like... like... Literally like one daughter crying, Otty like crying and kicking up a fuss. I'll be like, where's Zoe? And then you'll be up here just <laughs> up like here. laying on there reading a book. I'll be like... <laughs> Joker. Okay, is this going to fit over there? I actually don't know. Oh, it might do, you know. It's smaller than what I think. It might go perfectly. <gasps> Stop. That's actually quite perfect. <gasps> That's quite nice. That goes very well. Doesn't it? Yeah. You could do it at an angle. Why yeah, don't you do it? Try it at a little angle in the corner, a little corner angle. <gasps> oh. I think it's about the corner angle, Alfie. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, look, it's wedged in there. Oh, that's really nice. I think it's about the corner angle and it's not going to come really out, like is that. it? Yeah. I really And then like you can that. put, you oh, can put, take so that, take that, put that there. there with the plant on it. How can we make sure that that mirror is like... I think he's on, look. No, I think we would need to I mean, we can get, we can, secure it yeah, to the wall somehow. Little, we can get a handyman to connect the back of it here, just to the wall on like a little chain. Okay. What, do you want this plant in there? Yeah. No, no. Mm, no, maybe not. But it doesn't matter, does it? No, We've done really. enough for today. We it have. Looks great. It looks great. Now we just need to like do all of this. Yeah. Do the desks a bit more. Get some more plants in here. Get some more. We've got a load of plants to come in here. Actually, I don't know whether us buying new plants is a good idea when we're about to have another baby. That's just too many things to keep alive. <laughs> Let's not add any more things in. You go outside, I welcome you into okay. my new office. I'm acting as if it's like fully finished and ready. It's welcome definitely in not. To the new home office. We've got a sofa that we're probably not gonna work on. We're just gonna come up and hide from each other and chill. Oh, you can see me straight <laughs> in the mirror. We've got Zoe. In my pajamas. <laughs> we've got Zoe in her pajamas in the mirror. And then we've got a desk and hard drives and don't worry about all of that. Yeah, that's just a bit messy Sorting there. Sorting that stuff. My camera just found out of memory. But that's it, that's enough for the home office tour. It's nearly done, it's looking good. This is the first time that I'm like properly sitting down to use, use this office space. And I have to say it feels good, it feels very good. I've also not done anything to my hair today. It's an absolute mess, but it is what it is. So at the end of every video of mine, I sit down and I answer a question that one of you watching left on my previous video. And I've just been sat on my phone for a couple of minutes, reading through all the comments from my last video. And one of you asked, what is a quote that I'm particularly loving at the moment? And I feel like it's really fitting because there legit is a quote that I'm absolutely loving at the moment. The last couple of days I've been thinking about it a lot. And it's a really short, quick, simple one. And I feel like it's gonna resonate with a lot of you. So the quote goes, nothing changes if nothing changes. 
Like we could literally sit around for weeks, for months, for years, for a lifetime for some people, just wondering what if? What if I did this? What if I started this? What if this happened? What if I asked this person this? What if I told this person this? But if nothing changes, nothing changes. And it's so short, it's so simple, it's so to the point, and also it's so easy to fit into, fit into so many different areas of life. Uh, don't waste years away thinking what if. If nothing changes, nothing changes. So simple. It's a good one. I love it. I am going to end off the vlog. I appreciate you watching. I feel like this vlog was a particularly long one. I feel like it's like 25 minutes or something. So thanks so much for spending 25 minutes of your day watching my videos. It genuinely means a lot to me. If you haven't already, drop the video a thumbs up. It takes one second of your time. If you're still here, go down below, hit the thumbs up. Be sure to also drop a comment down below, like I literally just have now. At the end of next week's video, I'm gonna answer a question that's been left in this video. So if you've got a question, be sure to drop it down below and I'll pick one. And be sure to check out Shopify. Again, link is down below. Cannot express just how much I love Shopify. The new collection is also live. I'm literally wearing the joggers right now from the new collection, the Future Self Lifestyle Club. And if you use the code Shopify Evergreen, free shipping in the UK. But yeah, I think that is everything. Again, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you next week with another new video.